I remember seeing a young fellow, bless him, he passed away up in the central desert there somewhere, somewhere that young fellow, that policeman shot him. Remember that one? And a lot of non-Indigenous people were going into that community, wanting to support. It's like, it's like, well, hang on, let's... But they didn't get an invitation to come in, but them fellas had to deal with that grief in their way. They didn't, you know, this is the whole thing. This is where non-Indigenous people and colonised people have to sit back because we've been programmed to think, well, that's good for you, we're going to do this, we're doing it for you, and then when it doesn't happen, we don't want your help, you get cranky. That's not how it works. It's like you go down to a little creek, and what we perceive, or some people perceive, let's go down and weed the creek out. But you've got other trees and other plants that are growing down there, and all those other little plants that are there, and you've got a human coming along thinking that human knows better at what is needed for that creek, and they start weeding it. But every single weed has its purpose within the mycelium, with the roots of the mycelium that's on the ground, for all other plants there, and for the fish and all other animals that live in the sand, on the sand, everywhere. It's the same with this, that's why nature is important. The law that's in nature and how nature operates, you have to study. But that's how we are. Sadly, I think we've become 